So guys, we're in the elevator. The detenders. Mm. We're going to meet the um, very dark man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Plan B TV News. Today making it five months and two weeks since Shoma was arrested by a risk code tomato paste unlawfully in Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians have cried out, a lot of protests have gone on on her behalf why she was arrested unlawfully. Though she makes an illicit statement and post that causes a harassed, but the media in which she was arrested is unlawful and we are beginning to sense another injustice in Nigeria police force. Anyway, let's watch this particular video of Arise TV News. We'll be right back to do some messages to the news. The story of Choma Okoli, the 39-year-old entrepreneur from Lagos who is being persecuted by a tomato paste manufacturer, Erisco Foods, after she posted a review of one of his tomato paste products on Facebook, has gained global attention with several international media houses including CNN, New York Post, Daily Mail, and Daily Star reporting on the story. Okoli is being charged with breaching cybercrime laws and is facing up to three years in jail or a fine of seven million naira or both. Additionally, she could face a seven-year sentence if convicted of conspiring against the company. Erisco Foods Limited is also suing Okoli for damages of five billion naira citing reputational damage and loss of suppliers. Okoli's case sparked protests in Lagos after the company's founder, Eric Umwafia, refused to budge in a recent documentary by Adeswa Giwa Osage, saying that he won't drop the lawsuit against Okoli and that he would rather die than allow someone tarnish his image despite several intervention. Now, um, over to you, uh, our woman, our woman in the front. I mean, look at uh, Choma and uh, Erisco Foods. We thought that, you know, it was just a story, but you can see it's not just Nigerians no, that are fighting for Choma at this point. It has gained global attention. We have seen it everywhere at this moment. Yeah. But, you know, I think for me, the most disheartening part of the whole story is that our force our police force is involved in this case yeah it's, it's quite sad OG and, and I want to first of all say kudos to the Nigerian media yeah before it went abroad we had done our due diligence mm -hmm. in ensuring that this matter was on the front burner and there on and to be fair we was fair as well so hearing from both Chioma's side and also granting interviews um, to Mr. Umeofia of every school foods and like you mentioned, both sides of the matter were presented and it outraged a number of people except the police who instituted a case against Nchoma, who in, in, were accused of intimidation and bullying, especially when officers were sent to her home and surrounded her home you know, to arrest her. And despite court injunctions, she's been represented by any behavior whom also came on the show. They went ahead to say that they were going to press charges and, 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 and so on and so forth. It's, it's quite shameful to then see the response of the rest of the world agreeing with a number of people in Nigeria who, common sense alone, said this is not the way to go about it. Number one, it is sad to see in Nigerian business, because I must say that Erisco Foods has, is, is an indigenous business and by Nigerians, especially in this time and season where businesses are closing down, to see damages to a Nigerian business, yes. it is hurt. It, and, and I don't think, it's not Chema's fault. I believe they did this to themselves by the way they handled what was a representation of her own experience of using their products. Mm. You have to understand that when it comes to customer reviews, not everybody will like your products. That is the truth, male or female. Now, the way a company then responds to this could change the trajectory of the organization, could actually be good PR for the organization. So I want to first of all ask him to fire all those who gave him bad advice to pursue this path and say that he was going to go in for the jugular and going to a, a woman, a young woman who wrote a Facebook post. Beyond that, I still think it's still redeemable and I hope it's still redeemable. I hope that pride and interviews he's done would not prevent him from doing the right thing. Letting this woman go and releasing a statement that they've settled out of court. 
and even apologizing for the way and manner in which they handled this woman. I'm not saying don't seek for justice, but the way it was done, it is like using a hammer to hit an ant, to mm. kill an ant. It was too much. It's an organization, an institution against the woman, yeah. and you have to understand that this does not, it's not good for the optics. So I still think it's redeemable and that he should do the right thing now. Let's not bring international disgrace because of, you know, the, the headlines are just disgraceful, yes, saying that, oh, Nigeria a woman wants. received seven years for complaining so, about a product. Mm -hmm. No one is saying it's to sabotage his business. Mm -hmm. So let him not sabotage his own business. Let him do right by the one. And I'm proud of all those who stood up for Chioma yeah. Okoli and, and, and ensure that she's getting at least enough attention to ensure that she doesn't sit in jail, you know, sit in detention yeah. or doesn't go through this hor horrendous yeah. Dr. Batty, cyber act crime. That is cyber, crime cyber prevention, prevention and prohibition act of 2015. Correct. That's what the police yes. is quoting. Right. And the police is saying, you know, she has a case to answer uh, under that particular uh, act. Well, I don't think it's for the police to be saying she has a case to answer or not. The matter is already in court. It's the court to determine whether there has been a violation on, of any of the sections of that Cybercrime Act of 2015. Number two is that the matter... The uh, Mr. Eric Mafia, who says he would rather die, he doesn't have to die. <laughs> you know, he has the option Why does of, he want to of, die? of discontinuing to the matter. Yeah. And I hope that when all of this is over, he would probably realize that the step he has taken has been counterproductive. Yeah. The lady wrote something, I think they said on Facebook, on Facebook. Yes. just saying that uh, the tomato puree was too sweet. Was too sugary. And then, you know, he decided to go to court. When he does a review, when all this is over, you probably realize that if he had ignored that comment, yes. all of this drama would not have happened. Now people are mentioning his name and his company in association with uh, a woman that is considered a victim. How has he achieved the objective of selling his Ooh, product? I have no idea. And now on top of it all, he has turned uh, uh, Chioma Okuli into uh, an international citizen. The whole world is fighting for her. Yes. And they are seeing her as a victim, even without the case being uh, determined in court. So in the court of public opinion, Mr. Mafia, you know, has already more or less lost. Yeah. He, he could have handled the matter differently. Right. In fact, he, he, when uh, 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 Ms. Okoli's uh, lawyers wanted to settle out of court, she could even have uh, found a way of using Choma Okoli to help advertise the product. Yes, that was the... And all this negative publicity will not have happened. If you see some of the comments, people overseas are scandalized. They Reddit. Are. Right. Reddit, 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 carried the Reddit, story. Reddit carried the story. And yes. the thing went viral. Yes. And they say, okay, why can't the consumer make a comment yeah. about the product? There's something called consumer review. Mm -hmm. Even some of these uh, international hotels, even local ones, before you leave, they give you a form yeah. yes. to express an opinion. If you want to book online, they will show you customer reviews. And it's not always that those customer reviews are, you know, uh, positive. So we still face the challenge in terms of consumer protection in this country. What are the rights of a consumer? Can a consumer do a review? Can a consumer express an opinion? Is there something here about the freedom of expression? Yeah. However, what Erisco Foods we need to prove in court is to prove the damages that, have, that they have suffered as a result of that comment. Yes. So it's not enough to just say uh, you have defamed our company. You must prove the damages and the quantum of the damages, and it's for the court to decide. So it's yes. not as if it is automatic. The people are already convicting uh, 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 Ms. Okoli to allow the court to take a decision. And Mr. Mafia has the right not to die to discontinue he, the case. He has a right not to die because, I mean, he did say that in that uh, beautiful documentary by Adeswagi Wao Sage. And, you know, what got me really was the fact that People have been telling him, you can actually drop this case, like you have suggested, yes, and make this woman an ambassador so that he doesn't tarnish the image of your company. And I think that that's, this is what he has done. So basically, I also understand that one of the reasons he's suing is because I believe the comments underneath Choma's uh, page was the fact that some people were saying, yeah, so the product can kill or something like that. I don't even understand what that means. But your point is very valid, which is he has to prove the damage. Yeah, that's you have to prove the Well, yeah. I hope that he turns this case around now that there's global outrage 
Um, and again, kudos to all those people who have come out to speak for Chioma. As a concerned Nigeria, what do you guys think about this particular video right now? It's, it's so annoying the way Nigerian police force are handling things in Nigeria. This is Shoma. She's spending good five months and two weeks in their custody right now. And the chief executive officers of that company, which is the tomato paste company, that he will never forgive Shoma, no matter what it is, that he will rather die than to allow Shoma to come out of police custody. This is injustice. Another injustice served in Nigeria. It happened to Mubad. Even up to now, everybody that have raised up their voices to cry for Mubad, those that are notable characters in Nigeria are all silent right now. Person like Femi Falana, the first father, human rights activist lawyer. The man tried, but today is silent. Another person was uh, Toto DK and the Yaboju. Today they are silent. Another person, which was the greatest of all, is Brekete family. Today, they are silent because there are forces behind mobile death that don't want the whole world to know the truth. Now, these people are silent. Very Dark Man was the first which the reason they hated him so much. Because he speak about the DNA test for Leon. And Wumi said no. Just yesterday, which was, uh, I think, Oyster Friday, Wumi was on on social media again, crying, I don't want to do DNA. Why are you saying you don't want to do DNA? Me, I don't know. A lot of injustice is going on in Nigeria. Remember that it happened to Una Dikano. A lot of people are just saying, oh, it's because of what he said to the president. Mubad, who did he offend? Oh, it's because it happened in Lagos. You know, they are getting federal protection. Okay, now what happened to Erisco, which is Erisco Tomato Pace, you unlawfully arresting Shoma. Oh, you know, he's rich. <laughs> anyway, things are going on in Nigeria. A lot of you are just turning a blind face towards it. These people that I just mentioned, even Shore and all of that, they get the public and the citizens' attention because they are famous. There are millions. No, let's not just millions. There are thousands of our brothers and our sisters. And your brothers and your sisters that are unlawfully arrested in Nigeria by the police, kept in the police custody, and the family have cried and nobody have listened because they are not famous. They are still there. Maybe some have spent one year, three years, five years, six years in the police custody. Because one or God felt like this person talks to me anyhow, I will keep you there forever. So I see a lot of tweets. Some people are saying, "Keep if you want very dark man to still be in the police custody, raise up your hand." You see people in the comment section, ta 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 ta. It could be you tomorrow. A lot of people have come out to conclude that Nigerian police force are not law enforcement agency. A lot of you see what DSS are doing when the courts say A, the DSS does B. They do it to everybody. They do it. They, they did it to a lot of politicians. It's because these are politicians. That's why they get recognitions. People are saying, oh, this is unlawful. Oh, they, they, they are doing it to the People are tweeting all the artists and say, oh, this is unlawful. They did it to Chowore. All the West are saying, oh, it's unlawful. Now they did it to a very dark man. People like this are happy. Ha ha ha. It could be you tomorrow. And when it is you, who will come rescuing? So, guys, we're in the elevator. Huh? The detainers. Mm. No. We are going to meet a um, very dark man. <laughs> 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 ah! Ah! Jesus! What's happening? What's happening?